Greetings one and all and welcome to my let's play of Matterhorn! In our last episode we ended up in prison and we had to escape. Um, or rather we escaped from prison. We were actually caught before that. Anyway, we need to go to the British Embassy and get some paperwork and then we need to go to Berlin Taxi? and move well, to Madame. something or other. Let's go. Now, can we get in here to see? Is this bloke going to be nice and let us in? I do hope so. May I have a word? Greetings. State your business. State your business. May I come in, please? You need a pass. Do you know who I am? No, ma'am. Should I? Do you know the ambassador's wife? You're not... Uh... I'm a friend. Do you understand? The ambassador has a friend? You mean that sort of friend? Really? I'm quite shocked. Don't be. He's an impressive man of cosmopolitan tastes and skills. Well, that's some comfort. Nice to know we've got a real John Bull on the job. And he's out of town. He asked me to retrieve something from his office. You still need a pass. Why is it a mega accolade? Excuse me. Hello there. Do you have a moment? Yes. Do you work here at the embassy? I work for His Majesty King Edward, I does. <laughs> yes, indeed, even if I say so myself, and right proud. Okay. Oh, apparently we're going to try and seduce him. Shall we seduce him by flattery, by yielding, by dismissing, or by daring? Let's try by daring. Let's be right bold as brass. Here's my situation. I need advice, and you seem like a good advisor. Really? And what would a handsome woman like you want from a poor clerk like me? That's a bit complicated. Why don't we talk it over back in my hotel room? Hotel oh. room? You're a brazen one, aren't you? Lucky for you happens I like brazen. Say, <laughs> I've seen your face somewhere. Who are you? Oh, my stars, I did not expect that one to work. Okay, apparently I need to do him a dance. Oh, Does on. this ring a bell? Good Lord. You're Matahari. The talk of Paris. Come see me in my office. Here, I'll give you a pass. <laughs> I did not expect that to work. Okay, so we can get in. Awesome. Let's explore out here first a little. I know, let's not. Let's go in. Um, we have a pass now. We could get in, old chap. Rather, yes. Got what? a pass for me? Yes, I do. I have a pass, old chap. But here you go. Passy pass. Here you go. Ah, very well, my dear. Wait a minute, you've got a camera on your person. Ah, yeah. I'm fascinated by photography. It makes me feel like a painter. Can't have people in here with a camera on their person. That will have to go. Want me to hold it for you? No, no, I'll come back. Okay, um, oh, well, we need to explore now. That does not look like a sink, it looks like a gutter. A drain. Nothing special here. Uh, can I hide the camera? No. Didn't think so. It wouldn't be much copper over there. Um, anywhere over here? May I put it in a window? A happy little bush. <laughs> there must be a way to store my camera. Can I put it in the happy little bush? A happy little bush. I can put it in the happy little bush. Awesome. There we go, and no. Right, let's 
see if he'll let us in now. Oh, hello, Mr. Ambassador. Where are you? On holiday, you say. How nice, how convenient. I hope you enjoy the Riviera. I hope you like it so much you'll never want to come back and find me snooping through your desk. Okay. Let's, oh, okay, what's this? Let's just start. A box with blank notes. I think no one will note if one note is missing. Okay. Hey, there's an impression on it, but I can't decipher it, it's too faint. I had expected this. A combination lock. Ooh, bottle of scotch. We scotch whiskey. Hmm. Alcoholic and also wet. Oh, what's this? Is that the drawer or the coat that I'm searching now? What's that? Here's a note. Hmm, it says, Local operative has launch tube info. Use password, torpedo. Well, I will, if I get the chance. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, that's not right. I use that. Goodness, those naughty Brits. It looks like they've been reading French Navy mail. Here's a communique they intercepted about torpedo launch tube pressurizer valves. I'll take that. Okay. Chimney. Can I examine the chimney? A chimney? Next time I will take this way. Really? Oh, piece of gold. They will certainly notice if I take it. On the other hand, I can't stand a messy carpet. I doubt they would have noticed a piece of coal. Can I use a piece of coal on this? Yeah, awesome. I'm not only a fantastic dancer, but also a great detective. There are numbers written on it. So can we use that on the... Yeah, that's the password for the big chest. Awesome. I don't know if it's luck or my skills, but that's the right combination for that lock. Okay. What's in there? Anything? Nothing? Pair of boots? Aha! Found you. Suddenly I actually feel like a spy. Ugh. Okay. Now we need to get a picture of these. Can I leave? I can't take these papers. I'll be caught and exposed. Okay. Chuck them out the window. All right. The camera is outside. There must be a way to put these papers in view. Okay. They're put them through the window. There must be a way to make these papers stick. What is it? Whiskey. Use whiskey. Whiskey solves everything. This would work, but it would also leave some suspicious traces. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, maybe we could use the water from the tap. Because water, a dab of water would stick it. No, nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Whiskey? Whiskey and water. Now I can use it on the sink. Okay. Here, you sewer rats, a toast to your good health. Okay. Okay, fill the whiskey bottle up. What was wrong with the metal cup? Now it's filled with fresh and clear water. 
I'd be very suspicious if I was this plant. Walking watering away. the plants, eh? Good guess. <laughs> yes, I'm, I am. I'm watering the plants. That's what I'm doing. There's not a single plant in his office, but you don't need to know that. Right, okay, let's go back over here. Dab some water on them. Excellent. <laughs> now they should remain glued on the window. I'm sorry, but that's just a bit obvious. I mean, people walk past, they're going to see that. They're going to be like, hey, oh, John's, John's putting secret documents stuck on window. That's not a good look. I think John's got problems. Right, he wants everyone to know what we're doing. What about the reflection in the window? I'm not necessarily going to get a good picture of them from that. Okay. There. Secrets stolen. Do I need to go back but and put paperwork back, right? So let's put the let's put the camera back in the happy little bush. A happy little bush. Let's try. Oh, sorry. And we'll go back inside and take the paperwork down and put it back in the big chest and relock it. Unfortunately we cannot replace the whiskey. Time to cover my tracks. Lock the big chest. Welcome home, secret papers. Is it locked? I don't know if I can lock it. Um, I think that's all we need to do here, so let's just go. Let us depart. Go pick our camera up. Say bye bye to him. Here we go again. You know, for those of you who didn't know, Mata Harry was actually a real person. And apparently she was like a spy and a secret agent and a dancer and all sorts of things. And apparently this is what she was like. Now, our next mission is uh, convey the film to Samson. Let's leave that for now. Let's go to Berlin to run what's his face. Taxi? Where to, madame? Train station. Gare du Nord, please. With pleasure. Hello. Are you the local operative I've heard so much about? I might be. My name is <coughs> Madame Torpedo. I'm allergic My to game. train station. Well, I love the sea. You know, waves, deep water. Then I guess this is meant for you. Ooh, what did I get? Ooh, 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 ooh. Aha. A diagram. Pipes and valves. Possible leaks. I'll see this gets to the proper fish. Good lord. What possessed the ambassador to hire a mermaid? You should see my fins. <laughs> okay. Found a diagram of torpedo launch tube pressurizer. Okay, so we thought it was a torpedo. List my dance triumphs here. I challenge my Right, let's get let's get a ticket and go to Berlin. Hello there. Where to? Ticket to. I'm gonna take the 
Berlin rocket because I'll be honest I'm Berlin be the rocket please with the police song and dance this game makes you play whenever you want to use the train now here we need to go to Where there's another garden. <laughs> I've forgotten that it's like an amp. Taxi? Where to fly? Is it just over here? Forget it, sorry. Excuse me, I'll walk. I think it's just over here. Yes, here. Club. We have an invitation now so we can get in. But we have a chance. Sorry. No admittance without an invitation. How nice to see you again, Fräulein. Okay, we can go in now. Yay! Oh, these look rather snooty people. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Who's he? Who's the attache? Yes? Goodbye. Okay, well that was brief. Oh, um, there's two, and they're different well, colours. Hello, young lady. How nice to find you here in our midst tonight. Yes, it's quite an honour. Don't often get girls here. Military minds, mostly. Talk of cavalry, swords, breech-firing rifles. Reload times, casualties, and so forth. <clears throat> but how fascinating. Of course, we're all doing our duty to save women like yourselves from wartime depredations. The raping and pillaging, as it were, as I'm sure you understand. Yes, and I'm most grateful. Will you excuse me, please? Oh, why, of course. Yet I am prattling on, and you're looking for a snack. Over there. <laughs> <coughs> I'm looking for a snack, apparently. What? Had enough of our talkative friend, huh? Oh dear, was I rude? Well, it's a lot quieter when he's not around, and maybe we'll get lucky. Sometimes his wife will call him home like a good little puppy. How humiliating. She telephones our butler, and he delivers the message. You should see him scoot home to Mama, like a good little boy, without another word. Goodness, what's the poor man's name? Graf Baumann. Okay. Do I need to speak to Graf Baumann again? Yes. Goodbye. I want to speak to him. Can I Hello speak? again. Did we speak of the coming war? It's not that far off, you know, in spite of the silly hats women wear nowadays without a care in the world. No, my dear, it's sure to come, and possibly within the decade. Within the decade, you say? <laughs> oh, indeed. Everyone's spoiling for a fight. Well, not women such as yourself, no, of course not. With their husbands and sons. And we'll give it to them just like we did in 71. Good old 71. Oh, I see a friend. Sorry, must fly. <laughs> yes, well. Okay, so every time I try to speak to him, he stops me. So, somehow... Goodness, he chatters like a magpie. I can't hear a thing. So somehow I need to get... Pardon me? Still chattering, huh? I guess his wife hasn't called. Okay. Where's his butler? Can I explore anywhere else around here? Can I go down here? How do we get his wife to call? Hmm. I don't want to talk to you. I didn't confuse you, I hope. You do understand my point. Underneath the veneer is nature red in tooth and claw, isn't it? Yes, rather. 
And say, you look French, but you have a slight accent. May I ask where it came from, pray tell? The Netherlands. I'm Dutch. Are you now? Well, then, you're practically on our side. It's fate, you see. And fate favors the prepared. Or is it luck? Luck favors fate, or something near enough. <laughs> I think fate favors a long look around. Pardon me. Enjoy our little salon. Okay. I need to figure oh. out how to get past this guy. He's dull, to say the least. Um, I don't want to go out there. I want to go this way. Where's his butler? I wish to speak to his butler. Can I speak to the gatekeeper? Hello again. The Major's friend. How have you been? Invitation, bitter. How nice to see you again, Fräulein. No, okay, that's no good. Is there anybody around here I can talk to? Perhaps Ah, oh, hang on. The last time I went into this hotel room, there was a telephone. I could phone up, pretend to be the chatterbox's wife, and um, tell them to come home. Hello? Grenadier's Club? Is Graf Bauman there? You call him Freddy? Really? How familiar. Yes, well, send him home immediately. Tell him his wife has supper ready, and if it gets cold, she'll be cold too. Okay. That should allow me to get past him, the little chatterbox box that he is. Will we see him leaving and scampering away like a good little boy? Can we just walk in? Yes. No. Sorry, no admittance without an invitation. I have to show you the invitation. Every time. Every single solitary time. How nice to see you again, Fräulein. Let me in. Is he gone now? Yay, he's gone. Awesome. Let's go speak to him. What I hear is vague talk of non-ballistic ordnance, whatever that means. Those French. We can't entirely discount the rumours. We've got our secrets. No doubt they do, too. Speaking of the French, how is your friend Verne these days? Not well. Broke his neck last week. My God. How serious? Structural failure, metal fatigue, steel cracking. It's terrible. Okay. The alloys, the alloys. Well, that's an interesting piece of news. I must find a way to use it. Okay, how? Can we talk to him about it? No, we can't talk to him anymore. We can't talk to any of these chappies. What about him? Can we talk to him? You there, just a minute. Why, Mutter, it's you. At your invitation, Major. I hope you're well. Now, seeing you, I am. Um, this is my friend, Colonel Holtz. Freddy, meet Marta Hari. Enchanté. And I as well. Arnie, what a radiant ornament you've added to our grim little club. Marta, I'm... I'm speechless. Your visit so unexpected. What brings you to Berlin? Business. And you. Hmm, really? Apologies, I don't mean to be rude. Freddy and I are talking shop. It's terribly boring. Please, make yourself at home. Enjoy the food, the wine. Okay. Perhaps I can... Thank you. I've already sampled your splendid buffet. Let me recommend a tender morsel. 
Rumor that your Jules Verne project is in serious trouble. What? Structural failure. How do you say? Metal fatigue? Cracks in the steel? Good God, woman. What are you talking about? I might be able to help you. You're a woman. What on earth do you know about metallurgy? Oh dear. Not easy being a woman back in the day, is it? What's going on? Do we... Can we do anything? Can we speak to anyone? <laughs> oh! Mary Curious calling card. Not much, but I am a well-known dancer. I meet important people. I have interesting friends. Some of them talk too much. Some of them, like Marie Curie, know a little chemistry. Ah, you do have interesting friends. And you yourself are more interesting than I ever imagined. Tell me, are you a spy? You seem to think so. All right, all right. Let's talk business. The Jules Verne project is floundering. We need better steel. I'd like to know more about a new French method of producing alloys. It's called the Dumollier process. Dumoulier. The Dumollier process. Okay. I assume you're already uh, employed, but I don't care. Bring me the details and I'll pay good money. Wow, let's work Let for three different people. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Hello. Um. No, okay. Can we talk to him? Though he looks a little put out by us being there. Colonel Holtz. Ah, Mata Hari, the beautiful dancer. Arnie's really the one you want to speak with. I know he admires you even more than I do. Okay. So, what do we need to do now? We need to get Dormilia process details. We need to get the pictures to Samsonite and. Oh, no, wrong way. <laughs> Um, we need to do the diagram of the torpedo. Do we need to give that to anybody or do we just have to have it? I don't know. Right, let's go to the train station and go back to France. I wonder if we would know anything about the Dumoulin process. Taxi? Where to? Spandau Station, bitte. And you are? It's rockets and only a one way. Hello there. Where to? Ticket to... Paris, please. I wonder if that's where Samsonai is. Where to, madame? Police station, please. Oh, look, right you are. Let's talk to him. A moment, please. Yes. 
the Jules Verne project. I'm getting nowhere. You've staged a dance? You've met Von Kaller? Yes, and yes. Well, my dear, follow him to Germany and cultivate his friendship. You mean, seduce him? If that's what it takes, don't let me stop you. Okay. I'll do what I can. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to Mercury instead. Taxi. Taxi? Where to, ma... Marie Curie's lab, please. Let's go. We can go to a lot more places now. Getting interesting, which is good. I've not been here before. This is going to be fun. Right. Now, let's talk to Marie Curie. Can I play with any of these? I don't think I can. Hello. Madame Curie. Mata Hari. How wonderful to see you. You got my note. My advice worked. Sorry, I'm cooking an experiment. Must concentrate until it's done. If I'm intruding... No, no, you can help. Find some magnesium, quick. Magnesium. Epsom salts. Magnesium, is it in strips or in powder form? Sulfuric acid, potash. Benzine, radium salt, sodium nitrate, magnesium, well, magnesium, stric acid, the magnesium and potash. Washy thing. Shreds of vegetable matter inside. Tobacco? Are you gonna make the experiment blow up now? Could this be what you're looking for? Heavens no. That's black tea. Sorry, my mistake. extremely annoyed if it's using a different name. Let's try the potash. Potash. I know I heard the name once. Can't remember why. Okay, let's try the potash. Can we pick up all the chemicals? That would be rather cool. Just strip her. How about this stuff? Potash. We're not making soap, my dear. Okay, well we've got potash, we've got aesthetic acid. It smells sour, oddly familiar. We've got what's this? Epsom salts. Little crystals, like table salt. Um, we'll take the radium stuff, radium salt. Be this one stuff of sort of glows. Madame Curie's famous radium. She died because of that, you know. Sodium nitrate. Funny, powdery stuff. Who knows what it really is. We'll just pick everything up. Then we could make a stink bomb. Hydrobenzene. <laughs> what on earth? I think. Très bien. Now, get me some vitriol. <laughs> vitriol. Here. Yeah. Will this do? No, merci, no. That's hydrobenzene. It's photographic developer. Okay. Uh, let's try that. 
What about this? I think it might be radium, though, not magnesium. And you're right. Be careful. It is radium. That strange glow? It can fog photographic plates. Interesting. Oh. I'm wondering. Vitriol, please. Vitriol. This is the problem. What do you know? I found an acid. Acetic acid? Vinegar. No salad dressing today, I'm afraid. Uh, this is the problem when everything has multiples of names. Sodium nitrate? Madame? Almost finished. Vitriol, please. Vitriol, okay. Did I miss something? Tried that, tried that, tried that, tried that. I haven't tried potash. Let's try potash. How about this stuff? Potash? We're not making soap, my dear. No, not potash. Okay. Tea? Tea do? Could this be what you're looking for? Heavens no. Okay. That's black tea. Sorry, my mistake. I could do with a brew. A brew of tea would be lovely right about now. There must be another... Have I got the sulfuric acid? No, I don't. Why didn't I pick up sulfuric acid? It's a clear liquid with a poison sign. Yay! Who are we going to poison? Mm, interesting question. Let's give that to her. Could this be vitriol? Yes, sulfuric acid, vitriol, it's the same. And just what I need. Oh, good. Now you have time for a little chat. Oui. I mean, no. I still need reagents. Hand me the salt, Peter. Saint Peter? Salt, Peter. Too, too sweet. That'll be sodium nitrate, then. Sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. Somewhere I read about this one. Are you making gunpowder? <laughs> Goodness, no. There, we are done. Now, I can relax. I'm investigating the properties of radium today. Do you know? It casts rays that penetrate through solid objects, just like Röntgen's X-rays. That sounds very mysterious. It is. Nature is strange. What can I do for you? Tell me, how may I repay my debt? Perhaps there is something. I have a friend who is curious about the Dumoulier process, whatever that is. Any idea? No, I don't know much about such things, but uh, Jacques, he's my new lover, might. He's the most adorable man. Come and meet him. Okay. Matahari, Jacques Brunel. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Mary has been singing your praises, and now I see why. Thank you. I'm wondering, do you know anything about the Dumoulier process? Well, yes, as it happens. My speciality is organic chemistry. But the government has asked me to study how to introduce organic methods into industrial processes. What about Dumoulier? I need details. Well, I am sworn not to tell anyone. Not even for a friend of Mary. I have the notes, of course, right here in this book, all bound and locked up proper, and written permanently in iron oxide ink. I see. Sorry, state secret. Okay, um... Please keep your hands off. Iron oxide. Take a picture of them. Tea. Potash. 
acidic acid. Radium. Oh! Please did, don't touch anything. That did something. What did that do? What did I do? What did I do? I don't know what I did. Hands off if you don't mind. Okay. Please don't touch anything. Um, Hands off if you don't mind. What am I supposed to be doing? Ah, radium salt. Hang on to Dr. Brunel, Mary. He's a rare find. I'm so glad you think so. You managed to ignite a chemical reaction that eluded the chemists themselves. Okay. Can we talk to him again? I don't suppose I could persuade you to change your mind. The book is locked, and it stays locked. I keep the key with me at all times. You've just hooked him up with Mary Curie. Ah, uh, he wouldn't be much of a friend. Oh, there's got to be something I can do. Watch out! Everything here is dangerous or delicate. Should I blow something up? Yes. Should I blow something up? Yes, blow some stuff up, man. How though? Let's put some hydrobenzene in it. No. So radium salt? No. We'll try everything. T. What? Seriously? T's gonna make it. That explode? didn't really do anything. Oh. Maybe I should do my own experiment. Try everything. Try everything with everything else. Tea and vinegar. Hey, oh. it's bubbling. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Numpter. Nutter? What have you done? An experiment. I guess it failed. Jacques! Jacques! Help! Help me clean this up. It's awful! <laughs> that was my tea. What a mess. And now I'm thirsty. Okay. Where are you going? To buy tea. The essential chemical. I can't work without it. <laughs> Okay, so I guess that means we can go in here and steal his cigarettes. Okay, now we used this. Do I need to use it again? And then uh. I'm guessing this. Because she said, because it was iron plate ink or something. So the. That we do that and then that. So she's basically taking a very weird sort of photograph. Maybe I can photograph the notes, locked or not. Well no. now, I hope there are some notes on this plate. 
I have to make them visible. Have we got that now? Is that done? No way. It's locked and there's no chance to open it. Picture? Static acid or hydrobenzene? We're just gonna pour chemicals on crap. There. The plate cover is soaked. Now to open it up and see what we've got. Uh oh It's still developing. Pretty soon the whole thing will be black. I need another chemical to stop this. Okay, okay. Let's try some of that. There. That stopped the process. And look. The Dumoulier details can just be seen. Iron, of course. And carbon, 0.5%. Nickel, 3.5. Chrome, 1.5. My ingenuity knows no bounds. Yeah. I'm not overly sure what I'm... Hmm. Yeah. You don't look after your friends very well, though. You blew her experiment up. Au revoir, Marie. Au revoir. Right, well, on that note, guys, I think we'll call an end to this episode. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was interesting, to say the least. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.